All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. It has been a while since we've uh, made a video with the Type R. Had a lot of truck, truck content. We still have truck content coming, but I figured we'll go ahead and mix it up a little bit, have a Type R video. So today we have a package from uh, Sumo Performance. So big shout out to them for sending me some goodies. Let's see what we got. All right, so we have two boxes. So. On the first box, as you can see here, nice, I like that. Put that red on there. Super Performance, okay, open it up. Oh, nice, all right, so what we have here, we have these Super Performance uh, mirrors, okay? These are gonna help with anti-glare. Uh, I think you get a wider uh, view of range in your mirror. And then we also have uh, some wiring, I think that goes with the, uh, I believe, that inside the mirror, we also have the turn signal light. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool. We'll have to see as we get to tearing it down. We have one more box. Oh, nice. So they sent, sent out some smoked uh, turn signals. The little bezel piece, as you can see right here. There is a, there's a small uh, piece right here that's now clear. And so we are going to be inserting the new uh, smoked one. It's the small little details that's going to make that uh, stand out. That's pretty cool. I'll show you guys the uh, the clear lens that we have now. As you can see right there, it's clear. And then the new one is going to uh, black it out. That is going to look so good. I already know, if I get a chance to give back to my subscribers any way I can, I'm going to do it. I've been doing that a lot this year and I want to continue to keep that up because um, I'm forever grateful and thankful for you all watching my videos and supporting my content. Hopefully before the end of the year we can kick off some merch. As you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. This is just a sample. But anyways, if you are interested in winning a set of these mirrors, the Super Performance mirrors, um, that I'm going to be installing today, all you got to do is uh, leave a big thumbs up on this video, which you should already be doing, leaving this a like, and then comment down below Sumo Performance, and then you have to be following Sumo Performance on Instagram. I'll pick the winner in next Sunday's video. Like I said, leave this video a like, comment down below Sumo Performance, and then make sure you go and follow Sumo Performance Instagram page. I'll have it linked down in the description. And then along with that, if you would like to pick up a set of this, I'll also have uh, some of these mirrors uh, down in the link in the description as well. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into uh, the install. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to fold this mirror back. If you didn't know already, yes, these mirrors fold completely back just like so. Okay, and then we're gonna take a pry tool. We're gonna to go ahead and pry, pry this uh, actual mirror piece out. I had, I've already, I got experience at this because I, uh, I backed out of my garage and cracked all of this when I had the, uh, the SI, and, you know, I had a camera and all that stuff. So, shouldn't take no time uh, to pry the uh, factory mirror out. If you guys are interested in a good trim tool piece kit, I have the Acuity one linked down in the description. And if you guys do buy these through my Amazon store, I do get a little kickback, so every little bit helps. Alrighty. gloves on all right so just like that the factory mirror comes out as you can see right there yep I'm filming and then on the back of my mirror since these are uh, defrosted you have two little plugs right here in the uh, back that you need to remove so just gently be careful removing the actual prong itself you don't want to damage you don't want to damage this okay So it's being a booger. Got it. All right, factory mirror is now off, and then we're gonna need to take this plastic little bezel piece and transfer it onto the new mirror. All right, so like I mentioned, you are going to take this piece out right here. You have these little black clips all around here. You're gonna pry those out, and then you're gonna remove the white piece just like that. And once again, I'm gonna be using the um, trim tool pieces from Acuity. All right, this can be pretty difficult to remove. Just have some uh, patience and it will come off. As you can see, I have it off. And what we're gonna do is transfer it over to the uh, new mirror. All right, we have now successfully transferred over to the new mirror. I got some nasty fingerprints that I need to wipe off. So once we have that done, we're gonna set this to the side and we go back into taking some of these pieces off here so we can pop this cap off in order to get to the uh, clear um, side marker for the turn signal. 
All right, next piece of the puzzle, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. And if you, you can see right there, there's a, there's a little plastic tab there, plastic tab there, and then on this one, if you look, you can't really see in here, but there's a tab way in the back. You're gonna kind of angle and then push that up, and then this cap uh, should come off of the mirror. Finally got the mirror cap off. That third one that I was telling you about right here, that is a pain in the rear, so have some patience. And, uh, yep, let's go ahead and <laughs> finish. Man, that was a uh, freaking chore. Next thing you wanna do is, in the back of the mirror, you'll clearly see what powers the turn signal. Go ahead and unplug that. And then it appears to be there's one Phillips head screw right here that holds the uh, entire uh, bezel of this piece on. And there's actually one more in the back right here. So you have uh, two Phillips head screws that you need to remove. All right, so lesson learned. I went ahead and took this whole entire piece off. There are three screws. There's one here, one here, and there's one right here at the bottom. You have to have the mirror completely folded to its side in order to get it. I was wondering why this entire front casing wasn't coming off. Now we have plenty of access to get these two Phillips screw here in order to take the uh, factory clear uh, turn signal out to put the smoked one in. That was not fun, but we got it done. Let's go. All right, so here you have it. Here's the mirror pretty much disassembled. This is the plug for the turn signal. You have a Phillips head screw, uh, one right there. And then there's also one right chair that you need to remove. Voila! And then this piece should come right out. So here you have it. Here is your factory clear side marker. Or turn signal, I should say. And then here is the new one that we are going to be uh, putting in its place. So let's go ahead and do that now. That's gonna look sick. Make sure you get everything lined back up. There's two little pieces of plastic right here that you need to sit in the guide, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this one uh, finger tight. We're just gonna get it started. And then we'll go ahead and zip, zip it the rest of the way up. And don't forget the one back here. All right, let's go ahead and get those secured. All right, we got the new uh, light powered up, and I did not know this, but it's sequential. That's awesome. So it's going to match the uh, it's going to match the actual turn singers in the, in the rear too. See, as you see here, just a solid line, and then come over here, and it's sequential. I love it, and it smokes. So let's go ahead and get this mirror put back together, and then we'll snap the uh, sumo mirror on and see what it looks like. Okay. Get this going. I was really worried there for a minute that I was gonna have to take the entire mirror off to get this done. So I'm so glad we were able to pop this outer casing off to get the uh, to get the turn signal. So let's go ahead and button everything back up how it should be, and we'll put the mirror cap back on, and then we'll put the uh, the new Suma anti-glare wide mirror in. Okay, getting this mirror cap on. It appears to be, mirror cap is now on, boom. Well, boys and girls, we got ahead of, our, ahead of ourselves. I have now have to take this entire mirror back apart because the LED turn signal, the new uh, smoked one that we put in, we have to wire it to the freaking mirror. God. So what happens when I get ahead of myself and rush, but oh well, here we go. Time to tear it all back down. <laughs> and uh, this is not gonna be fun, but let's get it over with. All right, so the mirror is now wired up. As you can see here, it now works. So on the connector that's uh, on the actual, the mirror side, let me get you guys focusing. On this side, the solid black is gonna go to the purple wire and then the black and white is gonna go to the like pinkish, uh, pinkish one. And then they give you nice and pretty little uh, connectors to connect them. I'm not gonna show you guys that, it's pretty straightforward. But like I said, black goes to the purple and then the black and white stripe goes to the off uh, pinkish one. As you can see here, uh, the mirror is working just fine. It wasn't too bad to tear the mirror back down, it only took me like less than five minutes. And then I'll get to the part where we uh, completely fasten everything up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Woo! What an adventure, but hey, not everything off and on camera is always going to be perfect. Just know that. 
All right, so just to give you guys a little visual, like I mentioned, black, solid black goes to the purple, then the off pink peaches, peach color goes to the, the black and striped. As you can see, we have them tapped in. Went ahead and tested everything, everything works good. This is for the new Sumo Performance glass turn signals, and then this is for the uh, defroster. And I'll show you guys here in just a second once I get the driver's side done. Passion side's all done, but I want to show you. I just wanted to show you guys that I, <clears throat> off camera went ahead and buttoned everything up and did that one, but everything's wired up and in place, everything works. So I'll go ahead and button this back up, and then we will go ahead and show you all how the turn signal looks. And then again, with the smoke turn signal, we'll turn the lights off and check everything out. And that's a wrap. She works. All I gotta do is obviously adjust the mirrors a little bit, but she works. There you go, finally finished. That wasn't too bad. The hardest part is maybe the wiring. Other than that, that's it. I absolutely love that the uh, turn signal is now sequential. I had no idea that's how it was. Now I just need to get the mirrors wiped off. I can see both are working. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, turn off the lights. Give you guys a demonstration of what they look like at nighttime. Let me kill the power to my ring light. Yeah, that sequential is freaking sweet. Oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Go ahead and turn the light back on. Alrighty. So, with that being said, we're going to turn the garage light back on. Alright, so with that being said, uh, the install was pretty easy. Like I said, the hardest part, uh, the two hardest things are, one, the mirror cap. That was a pain. I ended up not removing the mirror cap on the driver's side. Somehow I was able to uh, finagle my way in there, unscrew the factory uh, clear side marker to put in the smoked one. And then two, the wiring part. Um, <clears throat> could be a little iffy, a little tricky. Um, I stripped back a little bit of the purple and then the peach looking wire. And then uh, stripped a little bit back more on the wire that was provided. Other than that, everything went smooth. And everything works great. Like I said, all I gotta do now is clean off the, uh, the mirror caps and clean off the actual mirror because they are fingerprints everywhere. But as you can see, the mirror actually has like a blue like hue to it. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to show you, to give you guys a, a comparison from the factory mirror. The aftermarket ones, I do apologize for that. But anyways, um, super sim simple install. So uh, yeah, I do want to give a big shout out to Suma Performance. Thank you all so much for sending those out. Hopefully one day we'll have a Suma Performance banner on the wall along with the other sponsors. Um, so if you guys are interested in winning a set of the mirrors, um, you know what to do. Make sure you leave this video a big like, comment down below Sumo Performance, and then make sure you are following Sumo Performance on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you're stopping to the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. You already know, leave this video a big thumbs up. I'll catch you all in the next video. And then next Sunday, we will go over, uh, I'll announce the winner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.